Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a lower third branding for your YouTube video. So take a look at this one or this one. Okay, so you have a channel logo on the left side and you have a text which showing your channel name. And you can also replace your logo with a YouTube logo or stuff like that. It is very easy to create in Filmora 11. Okay, so let me show you how to do that. And for your information, if you want to try Filmora 11, I will put the link in the description for you to download it. And if you want to purchase Filmora 11 lifetime license, don't forget to use my 20% discount coupon code to save your money. Okay, let's go. Okay, so this is my Filmora 11 and let's import the footage that I want to use for my intro first, okay? Just click here, then go to my folder. And there is a folder that I'm going to use. So this is the intro. Let's import this one. Just click open and cancel the proxy. And the first thing, you want to put your video on the timeline, okay? Just put it here on the timeline and keep the project setting. And let's play the video. Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a lower third branding for your YouTube video. So take a look at this one. Okay, so take a look at this one. So I want to add a lower third on this side of the video, maybe on the left side, not on the right side, okay? So what you need to do is to go to the title and then you can select lower third right here and select the view option right here. So you want to select free because otherwise it will show some paid subscription lower third that you want to purchase film stock to use it. Okay, so I'm going to select free. And the next thing we want to select this one, the lower third number 37. Okay, just drag and drop it onto the timeline and play or oh, this one. That is very nice, right? And we need to change the text right here and also I want to change the color of the preset also. So first thing, you want to change the text first. So all I need to do is to double click at the title box right here. And now I want to change it to my channel name. So I'm going to cap lock this. Jackie Nguyen. And actually I can select some other text preset right here. By the way, I want to keep it simple. So just a white text. Okay. And the next thing, I want to move it move this tag to the right so that I have a space for my channel logo right here and let's click OK and the next thing we want to change the color of the preset so all we need to do is to click at the preset on the preview window select it right here and then you will see the color tab right here just select the color now you need to select white balance so here you can adjust the, the color of the preset for example I can reduce the temp temperature here or increase the temperature so it will change the color of the reset okay so I'm going to take a look at this one and you can also increase or reduce the tint right here also okay maybe I want to make it a little bit magenta I think it is okay for me by the way you can play around with the white balance to change the color of the reset okay so let's click OK and the next thing we want to import the logo to the software okay just go back to my media and then I'm going to double click right here and select my desktop so this is my logo so this is your channel logo I want to select it and let's click open and the next thing we want to put it on the timeline so just select here and then drag and drop it right here on the timeline and now the image is very big it fulfills the screen so I want to crop it first so I'm going to select the image and select the crop tool here and then select crop okay and now I will adjust this box to make it bigger and it show my face right here and then I'm going to click OK and the next thing we want to resize it and put it on the right side Okay, just click here to resize and put it right here at this position. Okay, 
I think I, I should make a, a round shape on my logo. So what I'm going to do is to click OK and go to the effect tab right here and add a utility folder. I'm going to use an image mask so we can find it right here. Mask and press enter. Okay, so the, here the image mask. All we need to do is to drag and drop it directly to the logo. Okay, just drag it here so that we have a circle logo like this. If we want to adjust the mask, all we need to do is to double click at the logo and then select effect right here and we can adjust the width and the height of the mask. But for me, I think it's okay. Okay, and now we need to play the lower third and adjust the animation. Okay, but first thing first, I want to put my logo right here. So next to the text, okay, and play on this one. So at this position, the text show on the screen. I will animate the logo. Let's straight out the timeline first. So this is the first keyframe. I want to add one keyframe on my logo. Okay, just add one keyframe. And now I need to move my playhead to the beginning of the logo. So I will press Shift Home on my keyboard to bring my playhead to the beginning of the logo. And now we need to scale it down like this. And here's the lower third. Let's play it. Or this one. Okay, so this is how to create a lower third branding for your YouTube video. By the way, if you want to reuse this template in your next video, you can do this trick. For example, I will hide this one. So we don't want to have the image right here, but we want to add the image right inside this title box. To do that, all you need to do is to double click at the title box right here, select title and go to advanced. Okay. And then you want to add the image or the logo right here. To add an image, all you need to do is to click this option, add image. And then you want to select your logo. Okay. And this is my logo. I'm going to click open. And now you can resize the, the logo, the logo to this option. Okay. And also you want to put it right here and also select an animation for the logo. To do that, you want to select this animation and then I'm going to select this one, the pinwheel, just double click and play or this one. That's nice, right? By the way, we want to add an image mask to this logo. Okay, so we can do that on the timeline. Just click OK. And the next thing, we want to select the logo right here at the preview window. And now select mask right here and select this circle. And then you want to adjust this circle mask right here. Just select this one and then extend the mask and make it a little, a little bit bigger. Then you can click OK if you are happy with us. And then you can play to see or this one. And now you can save this title as a template. So next time you want to use this one, just drag and drop it onto the timeline. Okay, to do that, we can double click and select this option, save as custom. Okay, and I can say this is lower third Jackie. And let's click OK. And let's click OK. So the next time, if you want to use the same lower third, all you need to do is to go to the title, select custom here. And now you have this one, the lower third Jackie. Just drag and drop it onto a timeline to have the same effect. Okay. And play. You can also replace the... That's easy, right? So that is how to create a lower third branding for your YouTube video with Filmora 11. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. If you have any more questions. Let me know in the comment section below. And thank you very much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.